Hi, I'm Dr. Mukesh Gupta from Lenist Mallard. Polycystic ovary or PCOS, polycystic ovarian syndrome, this is a terminology which is so commonly heard nowadays. Almost like one in five to seven girls come up with these kind of problems nowadays in our practice. Why does this happen? What is this PCOS? And how can we prevent it or what can be done to control it? These are the questions that are asked very commonly in our OPD. Polycystic ovary meaning the ovary which is normally producing eggs has gone a little haywire and caused some disease situation. Let us first understand what is the normal process and then we'll understand why PCOS has a problem. Every month a follicle starts stimulating and growing under the influence of hormone FSH and LH from your brain. I know this jargon irritates you, but the reality is that under the influence of the hormones, the follicle starts growing and releases an ovum. Once the ovum is released, then there are some changes. If she gets pregnant, then she doesn't have a menses. If she doesn't get pregnant, then she has menses after two weeks after that. If for some reason, the hormones which are stimulating and controlling the formation of eggs are going haywire or the ratio is getting distorted, then the eggs do not form well and they undergo a cystic change or a degeneration which leads to poly means many, cystic means many cysts, ovary, that is many cysts in the ovary, polycystic ovary. What goes wrong? Well, the FSH and LH, the two hormones which are controlling the formation of this particular follicle, actually the ratio or the levels start altering. In simple words, the LH ratio, LH hormone is very high and increase in level and because of which the follicle is not growing properly. Because of this impact, what happens is the girl doesn't have cycles. So the common symptoms by which we come to know that a woman has polycystic ovary is number one, anovulation or irregular cycles. The girl comes and says, my cycle is very delayed. I don't get menses for one and one and a half months and then I have it. Sometimes it takes two months and when I have it, sometimes it is spotting or it is just irregular heavy bleeding. Second problem is androgenic side effect, meaning there are a lot of extra androgens being produced in the body which are not converted into estrogen, which in turn helps in formation of the eggs. So these androgens lead to the side effects of acne, hirsutism, that means excessive hair, oily or seboria or excessive oily skin. And that leads to again another set of problems. The third thing that we see is something called as insulin resistance. What happens is that there is a little disturbance in the glycogen metabolism and that leads to also enhancement or increase in the polycystic ovary problem. This is also associated with risks of diabetes in the future. This is also associated with increased weight gain. So increased weight gain leads to PCOS, PCOS leads to increased weight gain and this is the vicious cycle. And these women come and say, I've been trying so hard to lose my weight, especially my Ab, abdomen sir it is like an apple type obesity my tummy is just coming out do something about it and that is a problem it's an androgenic obesity so in simple words there is saha symptoms seborrhea acne hirsutism and anovulation means the eggs are not forming these are the common symptoms associated with PCOS now why does this happen and how can we tackle that well there are various factors which leads to that, right from the genetic factor to increased exposure to toxins in their life, to poor sleep pattern, to lifestyle changes, lack of exercise, all these factors, exposure to toxins like sometimes even uh, they claim that some products which are there in our routine environment also are affecting us. And all these factors are increasing the risks of PCOD in girls and in women. What can be done? In simple words, if you have excess problem of irregular cycles that can be controlled by giving medications under the guidance of your doctor. If you want to plan a baby that is a fertility has to be planned, then ovulatory induction drugs can be, ovulation induction drugs can be used and the baby can be planned with the help of fertility consultants. If weight is a problem, you need to really work hard and you need to control your diet, nutrition, lifestyle, exercise and be strongly motivated to lose your weight, otherwise it will be very difficult. Another set of problems which trouble PCO uh, girls is that cosmetically, co cosmet cosmetically they have excessive oily skin, acne and excess facial hair and hirsutism. Here again there are some medications that can be given to help them and control them. Uh, a reproductive endocrinologist or a gynecologist or a dermatologist can help you to do that. In simple words, polycystic ovarian syndrome in the early age leads to irregular cycles. In the reproductive age, it leads to difficulty in conceiving and having baby. 
in a later age there is higher association with diabetes and in the older age it has got higher association with endometrial carcinoma so we need to really work on it right from beginning although it's a tendency of the body but if you control it you may save yourself from a lot of complications with that thank you